six-year-old Daniel Safari, who must have been so full of life, oblivious of the danger that was lurking within his environs. It happened in a flash, as he was beaten by the venomous puff odor that left him in a coma for eight months. Luckily, he survived to tell the tale, but had to start a new life without his lower limb, which was amputated because of the snake mite gangrene. When I was six years, that is uh, in Mwingi, Kitui County, Mwingi Central, I happened to be bitten by snake, Pofada, and uh, I stayed in the hospital like eight months in coma. Then from there, that's how the life started. You know, people do not use like people with disability. It was not easy, but he eventually pulled it off. He found his way into the sports scene to turn himself into an old rounder. My first game was a jump. Uh, and I never get the chance to go to, to play to, to our Kenyan, my flag in Kenya, but I'm very good at it, 1.65. Uh, so that's why I happened to, to shift to God, give me, shift me to winter games, and I'm very happy about it. So Ejambos is my first game that I played. I also played a beauty football professionally in Turkey. Uh, 2014, 2016. And when an opportunity presented itself, he didn't hesitate to plunge himself into the unknown. I started skiing. Uh, we had a, a program that came in uh, in Kenya through Kenya Paralympics. Then uh, they were South Korea. They were introducing winter games to the countries where they don't have uh, snow. Then uh, I happened to get a chance. Then I went to South Korea, whereby I went to learn the game that I did not know. And uh, from there, that is. Uh, 2011, from 2011 up to 2016. Daniel Safari thus ventured into a sport no athlete living with a disability had ever attempted in Kenya to make a name for himself. We had so many guys in Kenya and also in Africa, Rwanda, Uganda, South Africa, but it depends in, uh, I just wanted to do something different. And uh, many guys that went to try the game did not uh, happen to understand the game more like professional. Ski is uh, one of the games difficult, you can die, but it's very hard, you know, living in this in, uh, cold season, like negative 20. My country is like plus 20, 25, 30. So going there to have a different climate, different weather, you'll come find, find that is, it's a challenge, but uh, since it's, uh, it's, uh, it's something that I've, I want to do, it, I want to achieve, uh, so that uh, can be voice of the people, other people with disability. So I have to do it because it's my passion and I like it. It's paid a dividend to medal in many championship and earned scholarships. I won uh, like uh, three gold medal in South Korea when I was doing a uh, mini competition in South Korea. Then in 2017, I happened to play as a professional in South Korea, uh, also in the uh, United States, 2017. Then uh, I also went back this year in the United States whereby I was uh, being classified and given the title to play internationally by APC. Yeah, and now I'm seeking to, I'm training for 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing. It's a, it's a lot, you know. Sometimes when you want to go to, to competitions, uh, you are not able to gain some funds to go to, that will keep you to the professional level. Like, you know, these winter games in Africa, in Kenya, not many guys know it's about it. So when you go to the institution, or in, so it's very hard to understand what about this winter games all about. You'll find that uh, different uh, other people without disability, it is, the, it is very easy for them to get funds more than a person with a disability. So it, yeah, you know, it tells me that uh, my life that I'm living and the life Sabrina is living, so it's such kind of the difference, you know. Yeah, right now I should be having gone to many countries like uh, Swiss, Austria, like uh, 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 Netherlands, you know, to, to train so many games. But, you know, I'm just in the ground training some uh, fitness. But they are doing in winter, they are, they are all the time in the winter games. But uh, I happen to get some few fans, I just go like three to two months to train, you know. They are getting more training more than I. Daniel Safari may have lost his limb through a snake a bite, but that has not stopped him from pursuing his dreams of becoming the best that he can be in the sport of skiing. And never will a day go by without him putting more effort in his training. He is a true inspiration. Other guys with a disability, uh, we have so many things that we can do. 
if you, if, if you show people, if you show the public that you have disability and you are not showing your ability, actually they, they won't give you that support, you know. Like the way I grew up, the, the challenges, but I did not get like, to show people that I cannot do this. I have to show people what I can do so, so that they can appreciate what I do. It's not about begging. It's not about seeing the people and the sympathy. It's about speaking to one another. It's about showing what you can do. And what you can do, you can do. I, I'm 100%. People will be able to to support you.